AITA for not letting my sister and BIL use my apartment for their holiday even though I won't be there? This is a throwaway account, and I would appreciate some judgment on whether I'm being an asshole because I currently don't think I am, but I'm open to hearing judgment. I have an older sister who is married to her husband, and they have a one-year-old son together. I work for a company that works in the US and the UK. Due to the nature of my specific role in the company, I must travel between the US and the UK for the company, this means I often spend half of the year in the US and half the year in the UK. I get six weeks of annual leave a year, so I took three weeks in the US to catch up with friends and three weeks in the UK to spend in the UK and catch up with my friends and family where we are initially from. Because of my time in the US, I decided to buy a three-bedroom apartment in the heart of NYC, where the company is also found in the US, the British company is based in central London. My BIL is an only child, but he has mentioned he's got family, such as cousins, aunts and uncles in the US, and he would love to go and visit them one day. Before my sister had their child, my sister mentioned that she would love to go to NYC to see her husband's side of the family with him. Now that they've had their child, they feel that it's time to go and visit their family. It's worth mentioning, but my BIL family are entirely British and immigrated to the US. My BIL earns a decent salary in the UK but primarily goes on the mortgage, their kid, and their household. My sister works part-time, but most of her income goes to her bills and their son. They have enough money to make it last for the month as a just in case they need to buy stuff. My BIL and sister are only open to family members about their finances whereas I'm more private and they don't know how much I earn and I like to keep it that way. A few days ago my sister video called me to catch up and she was talking about how she and her husband feels now is the perfect time to go to America. She told me they've saved the money for the plane tickets there and back, they've got spending money but that can't afford accommodation yet. My sister knows I have an apartment in NYC because of my job and she asked if they could stay in my apartment. I know it's not an answer but I have that gut feeling that something about this trip isn't right so I made the choice to say no. My sister understands that I said no and she accepts it but she's a little upset. I spoke to my best friend about this and she was honest in saying she thinks I'm being an asshole because I won't let them stay in my apartment which I'm not currently occupying. She told me to come here and get some judgment from an outside perspective to see if I'm an asshole. I do feel like I'm being an asshole because I have said no to my sister. BIL and nephew staying at my apartment which would have their expenses for a two week vacation over a gut feeling. So. AITA. Comment. Sorry, I'll be out of town and won't be able to host you and don't feel comfortable having anyone stay in my home while I'm not around. You should look into visiting BIL's family, they may let you stay with them. Honestly, this is the biggest question for me, we're going to visit family, but not with them. Not to mention I'd imagine transportation with a baby in NYC would suck, and as Op keeps her finances private, She'd probably have to fly there anyway to clean up any loose paperwork around the condo before her family decide to play detective. Yeah, this part sounds off to me too. Why don't they stay with his family if money is tight? It makes it look like they are expecting to stay a long time in his apartment without paying. I'd be okay with an immediate family member staying but I'd be a lot less okay with it being in-laws plus kids. Who knows what shape it would be in when they finally left. Who knows what might end up getting broken and quietly thrown away. Plus, are they expecting that it will already be baby-proofed? What about the possible neighbor complaints over the baby crying while adjusting to the new environment? Yep. I don't get this. I would definitely, and have, let my family stay in my home while I'm gone. I would not let them if there was some history of being terrible guests or inconsiderate or we had a bad relationship. But absent that, I love my family, and if I could help them without it impacting me like this, I would want to facilitate their visit. Op also says they keep their finances private. Pretty sure owning a 3B apartment anywhere in NYC, or any other city, is expensive, and giving them free, unsupervised rain would shatter that barrier. It sounds like sister and BIL get by but not by much, so the Weir family requests for money could start flowing. Not, nah, but if sister starts pressing she could easily become top. Op should trust her gut. No is a complete sentence or whatever that phrase is. I think it's probably multifaceted. If they see what kind of apartment Op has and where it's located, they are going to start questioning how much money he is making. Then the issue of does BIL's family live near the city? If so, I can fully imagine that they would love to take the train in and stay in an apartment. I have done that with friends. Which means more people coming to the apartment. 
Also, Up isn't currently staying in the apartment, so they won't be able to easily check up on it after their stay until their next trip out there. We've said no to this once. It was my Phil, SMIL, and their grown children plus partners who wanted to stay in our apartment over Christmas one year. They had never visited us or the kids in our city in the years we'd lived there despite many invitations, and we'd invited them that year for Nye. They all said they were busy for Nye, but when they heard we'd be out of town for Christmas, they suddenly decided they wanted to check out our city and use our apartment to do so. They would arrive and leave without seeing us at all. It felt weird to essentially act as Airbnb hosts for family who had never tried to check out our city or visit us or their grandkids slash nibblings, and were purposely only coming because we'd be gone. At first, it felt like we had to say yes, and we started stressing about getting the house cleaned for them, and making sure there were plenty of towels etc. Then my husband realized it made him feel like crap, and was just another example of his dad prioritizing his younger half-siblings over him. So he called him up and said we'd changed our minds, and that it felt weird that they'd come here for the first time, but without seeing us. I thought there would some drama or tension, but actually it was okay. I think it was a wake-up call for my Phil that my husband had these feelings. And my husband was proud of himself for expressing them. They did all come up to visit us the next summer, and we actually had an amazing time. I feel like saying no reset the relationship to one of more mutual respect and consideration. Next story 2. AITA for assuming my husband would want to take me to a game his dad would probably enjoy more than me. Made account for some help on this. For starters my husband and I have been together almost 10 years, married about one and a half. He's honestly my best friend and we rarely have any issues, the only time we tend to have issues is when he disregards my input slash feelings when making plans. He's very easygoing and agrees to things before discussing with me first. For example, he made plans with a friend to go to the lake, including me and the friend's wife, for the weekend and didn't think to ask me, is this something you'd want to do? So on to the reason of the post. My husband, we will call him John, has a friend that, let's just say has connections with a certain NFL team, we can call him Chris. Chris had mentioned to my husband he may be able to get him tickets to a game that is playing the team he, John, likes. John did mention this to me when he found out, but we figured we'll see what happens so we don't get our hopes up. He also called his dad, his dad is also a fan, and told him about the possibility of getting tickets to a game. I don't know what I was thinking but at the time, I guess I just thought he was excited. Continues on saying if we don't get them, maybe we can still buy our own. So fast forward, Chris gets tickets for my husband, two tickets, and extremely generous at that, worth over $1,200 a seat. John did ask me if I wanted to go, but it was more of an, are you sure you want to go? Otherwise, I was going to take my dad. It felt like he never had intentions on taking me. I 100% understand if he wants to take his dad since he is a fan but also, why wouldn't he want to take me? It honestly hurt my feelings. This isn't the first time as it happens a lot. However, this is the first time he's giving me the cold shoulder. We are normally able to talk things out but neither of us are talking to each other. I feel like I may be the a-hole for assuming he'd take me over his dad. AITA for assuming my husband would want to take me to a game his dad would probably enjoy more than me. Side note, we've been to an NFL game before and have had a great time together. I would much rather be at an event than watch it on TV and would have loved to go, he knows this. Also, before finding out about the price my husband wanted to look into getting more tickets for either his dad or myself. Comment. You admit his dad would enjoy it more, he is a fan of the team and has been for years. You knew your husband told his dad about the possibility and they were both excited. You'll likely be in your husband's life longer than his dad will. Your attitude about this is selfish. It reflects poorly on hubby for not restraining himself, or not tracking, who he has invited since someone will be disappointed. He has a history of asking his wife not to go to events after she is excited to attend so yes, he is grossly inconsiderate to make her the bad guy, can you just not go since X will appreciate it more? He knew this before telling her about the tickets. Hubby needs to stop inviting up while promising it to his dad, and other people as in the past. Hubby is definitely hurting his wife which is avoidable by saying, I may get two tickets to X game and I think dad would love it. Do you mind if I offer dad the ticket? If you're interested in going we can buy a third ticket but I don't know how close it will be to ours. Gentle gentle ish. Y'all need to communicate better. 
and I'm coming here as someone who's been in your shoes. My husband works on an academic schedule and kind of assumes that whatever he wants to plan in the summers I'll just go along with, whereas I have a 12-month job with limited vacation time, and frequently have called him out on being the asshole on committing my limited time without talking to me first. Try to very clearly state, when planning for things is in its infancy, hey, yes, I am interested in this, or no, I don't think I would want to go. Then stick to whatever that decision is unless emergencies crop up. Once you have said one way or the other, you don't get to be salty about it. Your husband needs to state from the outset hey I have this opportunity, but seats are limited slash expensive and I really would prefer to take my dad slash bestie slash great aunt mini to it. He can't sit and be wishy-washy and technically offer it to multiple people then be surprised when you're hurt about not going. Wait, so, you were mad he assumed you'd want to go to a lake with friends, but also mad that he didn't assume you'd want to go to a football game. Is every decision he makes wrong or what? The friend even called your husband's dad and wanted them to have a father slash son experience. You just want to go because the tickets were expensive and rare. You flat out say his father would enjoy it more. Of course he wants to take him. The experience is something the two of them would very much enjoy, it's a team they love, why should you automatically get to go under the circumstances? No, he shouldn't make plans for you without talking to you first, but that doesn't have anything to do with this. It's clear he wants to take his dad and you're being intentionally childish and selfish because what, you have to be at one without him for one afternoon while he does something cool with his dad. Again, you admit his father would appreciate this opportunity way more than you. You're tough for trying to stand in the way. 